Have you ever just wanted to lose some weight, or even just improve yourself in general, but find the modern world a difficult place to get motivation? Well, what if that motivation was your life? Anyways everyone, welcome to Project Zomboid, where society has crumbled and it's up to you to survive, which means self-improvement or death. And today, we're going to be doing a whole lot of the former, as I've made a collection of settings and mods to best reflect the Zero to Hero experience. We will be starting as the most obese, pathetic person, and through time and training, we will become a grizzled survivor. It's gonna be a long road though, and in order to raise the stakes, all of the zombies will be the opposite of me. Giga Chads from the start, who are superhuman in strength, tough in durability, and they can even vault fences with no issues. We're gonna need a lot of persistence to survive this one, that's for sure. What you're about to see might be one of the best shows of the indomitable human spirit, that or one of the most pathetic deaths in all of Zomboid history. Anyways everyone, welcome back to Project Zomboid. And today we are joined by a pretty hefty individual. I mean look at those curves! <laughs> Anyways, let me introduce you to our character and our circumstance very soon. First of all, we are Bartholomew, an unemployed loser who has a lot of negative traits, no discernible skills, and a 0% chance of survival. Well, hopefully we'll bump that up to 1%. As our negative trait list looks more like a CVS receipt, which includes being obese, thin-skinned, slow healer, slow reader, short-sighted, Pluviophobia, cowardly, clumsy, all thumbs, weak stomach, unlucky, conspicuous, disorganized, pacifist, prone to illness, sleepyhead, smoker, agoraphobic, fear of blood, slow learners, restless sleeper, out of shape, and weak. So yeah, things aren't looking pretty good right now, but hopefully, if we survive the initial onslaught, we can work on our character, our building abilities, and turn good old Bartholomew here into a real survivor. Today's not that day though, as we need to focus on pure survival. Because on the opposite end, the zombies we're going to be fighting against are chads. They run fast, they're strong, they're durable, and more importantly, I can't fence cheese them as they vault right on over. Thankfully- No, 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 that's fake, right? Oh my lord, that is not a good sign. What the hell, I just got here. Okay, we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. We're gonna go prone. Matter of fact, I'm gonna hide under the bed. Please get in there, Bartholomew. It's not looking good. Okay, we're in. We're gonna wait a bit, and we're gonna see how things get, um, later. <laughs> I hate it here. We're gonna give this, like, 20 minutes, and we'll see how bad things are after. Alrighty, it's been about 20 minutes. I think we're in the clear. We're already getting bored, but hey, we are alive. I'm gonna exit out of the bed, and we're gonna see how bad things are after I rest up a little bit. And I find it really funny how the entire process of crawling over to my bed was enough to exhaust Bartholomew here. I am really hoping we get some supplies out of this place though, right? That's what really matters. Okay, nice. We are losing our exhaustion. We will be able to move very quickly. Just like that. Okay, we're good. And as you see, I installed a lot of mods that will allow me to outsmart zombies and kind of move around them without being a powerhouse of a person, right? I think there's only one zombie out where I'm at in the bathroom. We're gonna leave him inside there and we're gonna look for supplies. As I did set things to extremely rare so the chances we do find stuff are pretty low. Are there any zombies outside? No, it looks like the alarm did kind of work in our favor with that. Okay, not bad. Let's go drink some water, and we'll see- Oh, oh, right there, right there! Perfect! Free weapon. Frying pan acquired. We got some lemon and cheese. Two meat cleavers, those are perfect weapons, better than the frying pan, might I add. An empty bowl, and an orange plate. I will take the plate, because we can use that as a distraction. Everything else is kind of useless, but I will take the bowl for a water source. On top of that, let's go remove this curtain really quick and make ourselves a nice little slink bag. 
there we are. And would you look at that, Bartholomew? You look like a real survivor. <laughs> Let's go make our plate throwable now so I can use it as a distraction. And finally, we can kill this guy right on in here. Hello. Goodbye. Please die quickly. I'm a very fragile man. Please. Thank you. Goodbye. It's insane, by the way, I need to rest up for like 20 seconds from killing one zombie. This is pathetic. But hopefully we will change that very soon because all of the traits we have right now are dynamic, which means that I can lose them and even gain positive traits in the future. So the chances that we become a absolute champion are pretty high. We just need a good start. And right now, where the hell are we? We are currently in the town of West Point. In a pretty good position, by the way, right? Now, the town of West Point, I am not ready to tackle at all. The zombies here are plentiful, and they will rip me apart. Though at the same time, we got incredibly lucky, right? Because if we bank it up north, we will be able to make it to the dock line or the shoreline and slowly follow that all the way down to the West Point mansions. I think that's going to be our best call. Hopefully we can get there without alerting too many zombies, because the zombies will run me down, they will catch up to me, and they will kill me. Before I head out though, I would like a few more items if I could help it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whew. Let's see if we can make it over to the neighbors now. One step at a time. God, you're so pathetic, Bart. There we are. We're in. No alarm, no zombies. Let's go loot and scoot. We got ourselves a saucepan, some margarine, good for calories. I need to lose weight, ground beef. We got an empty notebook and a newspaper, a free screwdriver, a hoodie with long denim shorts. The denim shorts are better protection than what we have, so I will take that. We got a broken window and that looks to be it. Okay, not bad. Let's go check out the car. Oh, and speaking about cars, is that a survivor home this early on in? I think it is. Okay, this might be a little bit ill-advised, but I think we're gonna check that out very soon. There's another screwdriver inside this blue car here. Does it have a key and gas? It does not, but we do have a lighter and a bandage. Okay, let's go check out the uh, survivor home. If we can get a weapon this early on in, I would be very happy. And by weapon, I mean something better than a household object. The only problem is that there are two zombies nearby, but as long as we kill them one-on-one, -on -one, and in my favor, we should be a-okay. So let's kill ourselves a couple more zombies. Not a bad time to kill, it took me like 20 swings. Okay, the other zombie also moved out of the way, so it should be a pretty easy uh, in. Is there anyone inside? No, we're good. All right, let's remove the glass and see what we got. We have ourselves two dead bodies, a fridge full of nothing, canned beans, a baseball bat, a machete, and a round point shovel. Okay, that means I'm gonna ditch these meat cleavers immediately, including the terrible frying pan so I can make room for some real weaponry. I think right now, I would much rather take the machete. It's one-handed, it's a pretty lightweight weapon, and it shouldn't exhaust me too much but I will take the round point shovel as a secondary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do only have six carry capacity, so we need to be very mindful about what we take with us. There we are. Let's see if there's uh, some more guns around here though. Why not? We got a farming volume with a pencil. We got nothing in the bathroom. And finally, we have ourselves a leather jacket. That would weigh me down, but let's look at the drip real quick. Oh yeah, we're looking really good. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna keep it. We are a little bit overweight, but I can solve that pretty easily by dropping... Actually, I don't really want to drop anything, but we will throw off the sardines because this jacket might help me survive. We're not going to be out running zombies by any regard, so having better protection is going to save me in the long run. And so now that we have this, you know, very nice bushwhacking machete, we can set out on the northern end and follow the shoreline all the way down. If I find any more opportunities to loot, I will take my chances, but as it stands, I need to get moving. 
as we've already wasted like three hours cowering under a bed. Also, that denim shirt's gonna be mine. And just like that, we are already drowsy. It's 5 p.m. We should be able to make it. If not, we can sleep out in the woods. Oh, these woods are gonna kill me, though. Let's head up that way instead, then. Very slowly and very methodically. One wrong mistake, and that will be enough to murder me. Everything seems to be pretty clear, though, from the alarm that went off at the start of the episode, so I think it's kind of like a blessing in disguise. Yeah, no, it's a straight shot over. No zombies. Of course, it's not as simple as that. There are two zombies. They are looking in opposite directions, so we can kill them pretty easily. Oh, there is another thing that I do have. Uh, I will showcase it very soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you look at my Moodles right now, we do have light conditions, right? Which means I will be able to stealth a little bit easier once it gets darker, which is very nice. Right now, it doesn't really have too much of an effect, but if we are unfortunate enough to not make it to our goal in a single day, we do have that small little silver lining to maybe increase my odds of survival. I mean, already as it stands, we are incredibly lucky. Yeah, okay, it's a straight shot down. If I see any groups larger than like four or three, I am gonna throw the plate off in a different direction to hopefully, you know, mess up their pathing. That, or we could just, uh, you know, crawl places as well. We're already normally tired. Man, this sucks. Alrighty, we have our first problem. That's a lot of zombies, and I am just one person. So I'm gonna try to equip my orange plate, and we're gonna try to throw off the zombies, like, over there. Throw it out there, buddy. That is way too close to me. They didn't hear it. I don't know what to do right now. My only hope right now is we can lead the zombies in one at a time and potentially kill them with our insta-kill screwdriver. Yeah, you know what? Screw this. I'm going back home to where it's safe. <laughs> we made a little bit of progress. Let's hope it sticks. So I guess I will see all of you tomorrow. Alrighty, after a full day's worth of sleep, we have woken up at the very, very prestigious hour of 3.20 a.m. We're in a nervous wreck, we're sad, we're hungry, so today we're gonna help ourselves to some dinner, right? And I think we're gonna grab this freshly defrosted ground beef, and we're gonna cook it up. As you see, I decided to rest up at the survivor home area, and I did a little bit of barricading, right? because this place is the most defended with the barricaded windows. But more importantly, that means no zombies gonna run through, right? Other than that one right over there, we are pretty set in not getting jumped. So yeah, this was the best chance for me to survive. Uh, hopefully we're pretty rested up. I doubt it. Uh, we might actually be able to loot a little bit more because of the dark outside. We'll see very soon. For now, I'm hungry. And what better cuisine can you get than just pure ground beef, <laughs> oven broiled? Delicious. Bada boom, we'll grab that in our normal inventory, and I think we're gonna head out. With it still being dark out, we should be able to use the cover of night pretty well. Unless there's a zombie in front of me. Okay, there's one out there. He looks to be naked. You know, that, 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 that's his problem. <laughs> Let's use this cover of night. No, 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 oh my god! Where, 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 where? Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna stay inside for the rest of the day. Nope. Our jacket saved our life there. <laughs> oh, oh, get me back in. Bartholomew is not him. Oh, oh man. Okay, how bad is it? Wow, they really tore up my jacket, huh? Well, you know, it saved my life going for protection. So yeah, you know, joke's on the game. I'm gonna go back to sleep. We're gonna wait till it's day out because, yeah, no, I forgot we don't have night eyes. We're, we're, we're not cat-eyed. So, yeah, going out is a death sentence. Oh man, where did it hit me? Looks like it hit me in the shoulder and the stomach. How good is my armor? Pretty bad, but it did save my life. So, you know what? I'll count that as a win. <laughs> All right, now we're good. We are a little bit off schedule with our sleeping plan. 
but it is bright enough out for us to move out. The only problem is that it's foggy out. Good old Bartholomew here is terrified of the fog, so we are going to get a little bit more stressed out heading out, but there's no better option than to head out right now, right? Let's get a move on. Hopefully the zombies that we saw before, the massive group of them have dispersed so I can slip right on through. Alrighty, the zombies are still there, but hopefully we can lead them out one-on-one -on -one and kill them to make room for our escape. Yeah, that's really our only option. It is a good thing we decided to sleep then. There's one. This is terrifying. I hate it here. Okay, we're gonna rest up a little bit before we head out even further. Yeah, just killing two zombies is a is a miracle for Bartholomew here. I'm gonna call him Bart for short, because uh, yeah, with how weak we are, we are slowly increasing our strength. We don't have a lot of space to shove the zombies, so we have to play it very, very, very close when juggling them. It's still possible but it's very dangerous and it leaves no room for human error. We're gonna sit for like 20 minutes. Also, digital watch, huge. Does it have an alarm? It doesn't, we're safe. Also, that's a lot more zombies than I'm willing to handle right now, man. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try to head down south and around that way then. Hopefully, the area down over here won't be as bad. Alrighty, that's three down. Things are looking pretty clear up ahead. I am a little bit worried that the fog is gone, but I think we've paved up ourselves enough to make some really good footholds. Yeah, 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 there's two up here, and then we'll be past to the majority of them. We just gotta keep up that energy. This sucks. This sucks so much. I am trying so hard to move, and it just gets worse, man. There's no place for me to go right now. There's just more and more zombies. I'm I'm barely making progress here. Okay, that's going to be our first level of the series. By fighting our way through this horde, we have leveled up our sneaking by one whole level. Hey, it's about the small gains, right? <laughs> okay, we got like five more zombies to kill and we can make a small little bit of progress. I'm thirsty. I'm also tired already. Things aren't going too good. But hey, we could run back all the way to base. Good things get a little bit more dire. How far have we made it up? Barely any distance, huh? I might want to head down and clear out a house really quick to rest up at. Yeah, no, I'm definitely going to do that. This is a marathon, not a race. <laughs> and my god, are we last place right now? <laughs> okay, we're going to head all the way back. The long way to my original house. And if we're going to be doing that, I'm going to kill that big group tomorrow. Yeppers, we're already exhausted. But we do have ourselves a mint condition leather jacket to replace my old one to increase my odds of survival. But hey, even when progress is slow, we are still making it. That right there is a school bag, which is 10 times better than my terrible sheet bag, so we're taking that bad boy immediately. I am cutting things a little bit close though, so I do want to get a move on very, very soon. Oh, dude, that is that is very nice. That That is super duper nice. And because we were proactive in killing zombies, all we have to do is kill that last guy there, and we have ourselves a straight shot home. Ah! 
Anyways, everyone, welcome back. We are very low on food, and my escape plan is taking a lot longer than I would have liked. But this is the series to where I can't act like the big, you know, the, the big Zomboid player, right? I am on the ground, and I am a worm. If I were to push things hard, my body would collapse under me, and I would die a horrible death. So instead of focusing on clearing up the river today, I am going to instead procure food and supplies, right? We still have like probably a probably like five to four days until the chopper event hits, which is going to be the big, you know, killer. So yeah, you know, we can take our time with this. We do have these canned sardines to eat for now, but after that, we are out. How's it looking over here? No zombies. I see a car break up with a trailer, but let's focus on the house for now. It looks pretty clear from the outside, but in order to cover all of my bases, we are going to be doing a 360 of the house. There are three down there, but they aren't really too much of a problem. By the way, I'm already drowsy. Holy hell, I suck. I suck so much. Maybe we can find some vitamins. That would be a game changer for me. Let's see. We got ourselves a hand fork, another leather jacket, pants, pens, an empty cooking pot, a fork, and frozen chicken. I can't eat that right now, but I will keep it if I don't find anything else. Anything cool in here? Painkillers. Mmm, it could be useful. I would have much rather preferred vitamins, but maybe we'll find some in the uh, cars, right? Oh, nope, those are zombies. Okay, that's a lot. I won't be able to kill them with fence cheese. I mean, I can, but it's not- Oh my god! Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. I died. He, he was too fast. He was too fast for me. I was sloppy, I was slow. That's why we need to take it slow. Oh, thankfully his friends didn't join him, or else I would be, uh, dinner right now. Okay, let's kill the other two then. We have nothing inside the trailer. We have a tote bag inside of the back of the truck. And finally, we have absolutely nothing. Wow, that sucks. Well, we've already cleared out the majority of the yellow house over there. And I'm pretty hungry. So let's give that a gander. And I think I'm gonna end the episode after. <laughs> I was not expecting to still be in my spawn area this late, but you know, you really can't control the zombies. Oh, would you look at that? We got ourselves a small dinner banquet inside. That is a very good sign. We just gotta get in. There's two, and we just leveled up our strength. Oh yeah, that's the kind of gains I'm looking out for. And I think there's going to be one more zombie. There we are. Okay, we did it. <laughs> Let's go grab our rewards though, right? Let's see what we got in here. We got ourselves another magazine. I will be taking those because I can turn those into armor. We do have ourselves a water bottle and some food laid out for me to eat. I don't care if it's stale, that's food. We're going to eat the entire steak and we're going to take the salmon and pork chops for later. The kitchen knives are also huge because I can turn those into spears. The water bottle, self-explanatory. And now we can go check out the other bits of this place. We got ourselves a full bowl of soup. It's looking pretty fresh. That is a lot of food. I'm probably going to stay here for the night now. It is a little less defended, but I can barricade the upstairs to circumvent that. Okay, that's it for the first story. Let's go check out the second in which we have an empty bedroom, a couple of crates with carrot seeds, a bathroom with foundation makeup, and finally a master bedroom with a big hiking bag. Oh, hell yeah! Okay, you know what? Things are looking on up for old Bart, and I think this will be a good spot to end the episode. We really didn't get a lot of progress done, I mean, actually, we have. Let's let's be honest here. We were able to gain an extra level of strength. We're also leveling up our sneaking and light-footed abilities. We have killed 47 zombies despite being quite literally a genetic dead end. Things are looking pretty good, and if we keep up this momentum and tempo, I think we'll become a real Chad in the future. 
Anyways, if you have liked this episode, make sure you like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more. Next time, Bart's gonna make the big trek over through hell or high water. That or I'm gonna live here for the rest of my life. I have no idea. <laughs> we'll figure that out real soon, though. Peace out.